pipeline disputes, the housing crisis, a national opioid epidemic and social injustice. It can all make for pretty depressing news and don't get me wrong, Canada is not without its problems. But according to the latest Happiness Index report, we still rank in the top 10 most jovial nations worldwide. And that's partly because of one province in particular. A strong element of growth in Canadian happiness over the last 30 years has been driven by the happiness in Quebec, which in the 1980s was materially below that. And over the succeeding 30 years, Quebecers have essentially become happier in Canada and uh, with the life they had than before. It's one of the biggest movements of a sustained sort of a subpopulation that we have found anywhere in the world. The annual global report takes into account everything from GDP per capita to social freedoms, life expectancy and corruption. Finland tops the table as the most chipper country, while Canada comes in at number seven. One of the main focuses this year was on the happiness of migrants, with a direct correlation in happiness in those moving to happier countries. There was a striking link between overall happiness, the happiness of the locally born, and the happiness of the foreign born. And it was true of all the happiest countries, they also had the happiest immigrants. And so it really means the social circumstances of life in the country where you live are dominant in your own happiness. So if migrants coming to Canada are happier because we're happier, then what's making us Canadians so happy? Oh, a lovely latte and walk in the seawall. Beautiful fresh air, beautiful BC. Uh, my dog makes me happy and uh, sunshine and going outside. Um, good music, dancing makes me happy and being outside. We're seeing for the world as a whole what might be a quiet happiness revolution that in fact people are starting to think of life more broadly and they're therefore more interested in measures of the quality of life and understanding what could be done to build better lives for themselves and their communities. Tom Walsh, City News, Vancouver.